Ladies and gentlemen, boys and ghouls, gather round as we delve into the eerie and captivating history of Halloween, a holiday that has intrigued and bewitched us for centuries. Hey guys, welcome to Historical Gossip. In this channel, we do what humans have done best since we've evolved to be a super aware being. Gossiping! <laughs> Halloween, as we know it today, is a unique blend of ancient traditions and modern celebrations. Its origins can be traced back over 2,000 years to the Celtic festival of Saun. Saun marked the end of the harvest season and the beginning of the dark, cold winter. But it was also a time when the boundary between the living and the dead was said to blur, and malevolent spirits could roam the earth. The Celts believed that on the night of October the 31st, the veil between the realms of the living and the dead grew thin, allowing spirits to return to the mortal world. To ward off these malevolent entities, the Celts would light bonfires and wear costumes made of animal heads and skin. They offered sacrifices to placate the spirits, seeking protection for the upcoming winter. It's easy to see the ancient roots of today's Halloween traditions like costumes and bonfires. When the Romans conquered Celtic lands in the 1st century AD, they merged their own harvest festival, Pomona, with Saun. Pomona was dedicated to the goddess of fruit and trees, and it's from this festival that we get the tradition of bobbing for apples, a game that still haunts Halloween party. Fast forward to the early Christian era, when the church sought to replace pagan celebrations with more Christian-oriented ones. In the 7th century, Pope Boniface IV established All Saints Day, a holiday to honour saints and martyrs. The celebration, initially held in May, was eventually moved to November the 1st to coincide with the old Celtic festival of Saun. The night before All Saints Day became known as All Hallows' Eve, which would later morph into Halloween. Over time, All Hallows' Eve evolved from a religious observance into a secular holiday filled with merriment and superstition. Halloween came to the United States through Irish and Scottish immigrants in the 19th century. These newcomers brought with them their Halloween traditions, which merged with those of other European immigrants' Native American harvest festivals and various superstitions. A unique American version of Halloween began to take shape. Trick, or treating the beloved Halloween activity of collecting sweets from neighbours, has a fascinating history. It has its roots in the medieval European practice of souling, where the poor would go door to door on All Hallows' Eve, offering prayers for the dead in exchange for soul cakes. This tradition later transformed into the Halloween custom of begging for small treats and playing pranks. By the early 20th century, Halloween in the United States had become a community-centred holiday with parades, costume parties, and an emphasis on neighbourly get-togethers. Trick, or treating gradually, spread across the country, eventually becoming the central activity for children. As Halloween continued to evolve, so did its symbols and imagery. Jack-o'-lanterns carved from pumpkins are now synonymous with the holiday. This tradition began in Ireland with carved turnips, but was adapted to pumpkins by American immigrants. And the story of the jack-o'-lantern has a spooky origin as well. It's said to be based on the tale of Stingy Jack, a man who made a deal with the devil and was condemned to wander the earth with a hollowed-out turnip containing a glowing ember. Black cats, bats, witches and skeletons have all become iconic figures associated with Halloween. The legends and folklore surrounding these symbols are steeped in mystery, superstition, and the supernatural. Witches, in particular, hold a special place in Halloween lore. Accused of practicing dark magic and often persecuted during the witch trials of the 17th century, these women have become emblematic of Halloween. Witches' broomsticks and cauldrons have been incorporated into the holiday's imagery, yet it's important to remember that the witches we know today are more caricatures than reality. Over the years, Halloween's spookier elements have found their way into popular culture. Classic monsters like Dracula, Frankenstein's monster, the mummy and the werewolf have become staples of Halloween decorations and costumes. 
But let's not forget the haunted houses, corn mazes, and terrifyingly fun attractions that pop up around Halloween. These modern traditions tap into our fascination with the macabre and provide thrills and chills for those brave enough to enter. In conclusion, Halloween is a holiday that has travelled through time and cultures, adapting and evolving with each new chapter in its history. It has managed to preserve the ancient traditions and superstitions of its origins, while also finding its place in the modern world. Whether you're bobbing for apples, carving pumpkins, or trick, or treating, remember that Halloween is a time to embrace the eerie, celebrate the supernatural, and revel in the thrill of all things spooky. So as you prepare your costumes and decorations this year, take a moment to reflect on the rich tapestry of history that has woven Halloween into the captivating celebration we know and love today. Happy Halloween!